many people claim that uh, AKG could be uh, replacing or, or become the next N and M. What do you think about that? Or it's should we take together, to both together, or, or we use AKG to replace N and M? NMN and NR as well. So NR is nicotinamide riboside and NMN is nicotinamide mononucleotide. Mm. These are both precursors to yes. NAD. NAD is a little bit like AKG. It's also a central metabolite. Yes. It goes down with aging and it yes. participates in hundreds of reactions in right. the cell. I think a reasonably strong amount of data to suggest that if you can restore NAD levels, mm -hmm. it will benefit you with age. Mm -hmm. The challenge is how do you do that? Mm -hmm. So if you swallow NAD in a mm -hmm. pill, mm -hmm. it doesn't get through the gut, right. so it's not effective. Mm -hmm. And so you have to take either NR or NMN. NR, NMN. But even with both of those, I think the challenge is getting enough absorption into the bloodstream and mm -hmm. conversion to NAD. You know, I mentioned that AKG and NAD are, are both central metabolites, yes. but they do different things. Uh, but they, they're, they're really are kind of at the nodes of metabolism. Both of these molecules are used in so many different ways mm -hmm. that when they go down with age, mm -hmm that it's very difficult for the cell to function normally because it needs these molecules to work back mm. and forth with different yes. things. And so even though they do different things, they're very similar in that property. And so mm -hmm. it may be that if you can effectively restore both of them, you get even better benefits.